Hello friends and I'm Ajay Kumar and you're watching Ninja Math. So today we, in this class we are going to discuss what is relation and function. Okay. So before going to discuss about relation and function, just you will understand what exactly the relation means. So basically the concept of the term relation in mathematics has been drawn from the meaning of relation in English language according to which two objects or quantities are related if there is a recognizable connection or link between the two objects or quantities okay so before going to discuss what is relation let's understand what is a set first okay set means well group of well defined objects is called set okay so before discussing about relation let's understand what is a cartesian product because then only we can derive the definition of relation from there so what is a set a well defined collection of object is called set so basically the notation of a set is in capital english alphabet like you can say a or b or c or d or z and like this okay so this is the notation of set and how you are going to write the uh, elements which is belong to the set we are writing everything in but small letter a1 a b c d like that otherwise you can put some numbers like one two three depends like otherwise you can put even numbers two four six eight like that okay it's gone now otherwise you can put what uh odd numbers one three five like that so i'm not going to discuss much about the set uh, i will come down to the what is a cartesian product okay what is a cartesian product let a be a set and this set consists of some numbers suppose one two three and four okay so this set consists of only four elements Suppose another set that is equal to B, it consists of A, B, and C. Okay, there's only three elements A, B, C. So the cardinality of A means the cardinality of A means the total number of, of uh, elements that is belong to this set A is four. So that is four. The cardinality of B is how many elements are belongs to B? Only three. One, two, three. So the cardinality is three. Okay, we have answered this one. Now you will define what is a Cartesian product okay okay we have seen what is a a means it contains one two three and four and b means a b c it contains a b c so this is a set that is consists of four elements one two three four and this set b consists of three elements so now we are going to define what is a cartesian product it means a cross b it is a cartesian product okay so here we are going to make order pair of each element from a to each element of b so basically we will relate 1 to a then 1 to b then 1 to c so i am going to write here by putting one press okay 1 comma a this is one pair then 1 comma b 1 comma b this is one pair then 1 comma c okay this one pair then next we will go for the next uh, element we will relate 2 to a 2 to b and 2 to c so I'm going to write down here 2 to A, 2 to B, and 2 to C. Now I will go for the next one. 3 to A, 3 to B, 3 to C. So 3A, 3B, 3C. Then next one 4A, 4B, and 4C. 4A, 4B, and 4C. This is the entire element, okay? So A cross B means means Cartesian product of A B means I we are going to represent means we are going to relate the first the first this one this one this one must be the element of A and the second ele, the second elements those elements must be belongs to B okay so A cross B means 1A 1B 1C 2A 2B 2C 3A 3B 3C 4A 4B 4C it means one 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 the all the first elements of this pairs are belongs to a and all the second elements 
of this pair is belongs to B. So in this way we have defined what is a Cartesian product. Okay. Now it will come down to the definition of relation. So what exactly the definition relation means? Any subset of Cartesian product of sets. That is the definition. Okay. How we are going to see this is the definition. See in this example, A cross B means 1A, 1B, 1C. This is the entire collection, okay? So from this collection, either you take some sub-collection, it means some some parts, and just form another uh, set. So that set will be a relation. Otherwise, you can take all also, okay? So that will form a relation with from A to B. Means from set A to set B, there is a relation. There's, there must be a condition so that we can define what kind of relationship having from set A to B, okay? Like we are having generally in our uh, in our kinship relationship, how we are related ourselves with our siblings, with our mother, with our father. That is the relationship, right? So in this way also, A is a set and B is a set. It means this is one kind of house. This is another kind of house. How the members of this house are related with the member of this house? There must be a condition according to that condition we are going to define various types of relationship okay how do we say that how do we uh, give a notation for a relationship if a is related to b means a r b we can write like that it means the set a is related to b or otherwise any element is related to another element so this element must be belongs to this one belongs to A group or A set and this element must belongs to this B group otherwise you can relate what you can relate any member any two member from the same group okay so there is a, like different different names one is a reflexive symmetric anti-symmetric there are so many relations transitive relationship okay so I'm going to discuss it some up to some time so I'm going to say there are some some kind of relation which is very special that is uh, phi relation phi relation it means phi relation means empty relation that is also become empty relation this is also empty relation what is an empty relation empty relation means if set a is there it it has some elements like a b c okay another element b is there some one two three <laughs> If there is no relation from set A to B, then that kind of relation is called empty relation. Okay? If there is no relation. Universal relation means, what is a universal relation? A relation, R is said to be universal relation if each element of A is related with each element of B. Each element of A is related with every element of B, then we will call that, that kind of relationship is called universal relationship. Okay? One is a phi relation. Phi relation means there is no relation from set A to set B. There is no element which is related with the elements of B. That is called phi relation. Another relation is called universal relation. Universal relation means each element of this set must be related with every element of this set B. The second, the second set. Okay, that is called universal relation. Suppose universal relation, how you we have defined A cross B, we have defined each order pair, right? In the in the previous, uh, here you can see that here every element of set A is related with every element of set B. It means each element of a set A, one is related with A, one is related with B, one is related with C. So that's why we have written an ordered pair. And two is related with A, two is related with B, two is related with C. 3 is related with A, 3 is related with B, 3 is related with C, and 4 is related with A, 4 is related with B, and 4 is related with C. It means, here you can see no element is left behind. Every element took part, like every element took participation in this relationship. So, each element of this group, sorry, set A is related with B. That's why this kind of relation is called universal relationship. But uh, phi relation means, if no element of this means some relationship condition is given if in that in that relationship condition if nobody from this group is satisfied with what the second set elements 
then that kind of uh, relation is called phi element. Uh, sorry, phi relationship. Phi relationship means there is no relation, okay, from A to B. Like if A is there and B is there, if there is no relation, then this is called phi relations. Universal relation means each element of this A must be related with each every element of B. That is called universal relationship. Okay. Now you see this example. Suppose A is defined like this: one, two, three, four. In this set, there are four elements: one, two, three, four. But relation defined: the ordered pair of A and B. It means this A and B are belongs to this set A. Means if the A and B may be one, two, three, four. Out of these four elements, this A and B could be any number. Okay, so this condition is given. A minus B must be ten. So you just put all these number. You are never going to get the answer ten, right? So definitely, this A and B means here A and B means there A cross A means this A is cut uh, like there is a Cartesian product of A cross A. It means A cross A. So when we are defining a cross a, it means this is a one two three four, and this is also a one two three four. Okay. So now we are going to make Cartesian product a cross a. A cross a means all the ordered pair you are going to write. Okay. All the ordered pair you are going to write. It means one one, one two, one three, and one four. This one, then two one, two two. Two, three, two, four. Four, four. And make sure that you, whenever you're writing, you just put comma in between these elements. Okay. Okay. Then here also you can put comma. Okay, so these are the relationship, the Cartesian product. But here you need to find a such pair so that this condition will satisfy. This this condition must satisfy. So you put one one, you put one one, then you will get what zero. You put one two, you will get minus one. You will you will get minus one. If you put one three, this pair, then you will get what so this pair one two one three. So one you will put three, then you will get minus two. So even if you put four and four, you will get zero. Four and three, you will get one. So None of this uh, element, none of this pair will satisfy this condition. That's why this relation is what phi relation. So this relation means there is no such pair here that will satisfy this condition. That's why the relation is phi relation. So phi relation. This is okay. This is a phi relation, and you must not be confused with phi and zero. Zero means there is something, but phi means there is nothing. Okay. Sometimes you feel like. Uh, zero means there is nothing. No, zero means there is something. But the value is zero. But phi, the value is nothing. Not even zero. Okay. Now I will check if suppose A is a set which having only three element one, two, three. So there are three types of relation. One is reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. What is reflexive? Reflexive means in this set A, what is A cross A? We have written all the order pairs here, okay? A cross A. So we'll check whether this A is this relation is reflexive or not. If in this relation, like the see the elements from this A, one, two, three, if one is in this relationship, if this is given, okay, up to this much is given, one, one, two, two, and three, three is given, okay? In this relationship, suppose this is given like this. Then whether check whether the, what kind of relation is having this one. It means one one. It means one is related with itself, and two is related with itself, and three is related with itself. It means if a comma a is belongs to R for every a belongs to a. It means for all one two three must be related with themselves. Then only we can say that this is this kind of relation it is called reflexive relationship. Okay. It means you are related with yourself. And your mother is related with your uh, herself, and your father is related with himself. Okay, I believe that you have understood this one. Now I will go for the symmetric part. What is symmetric relationship? If one is, if you are related with your friend, it means your friend is related with you. 
okay if you are related with your father it means the father has a relationship with you that is the uh, symmetric relationship it means here one is related with two then two must have relationship with one it means in this r okay if in this r it is defined like this if one is two and two is one must be there otherwise we cannot say if only in this relationship so see check this relationship one is related with one so one is related with one okay so two, this is reflexive now you check if one is related with two two is related with one but here again one is related with three up to this much of relationship is given to you in this r so now check one is related with two it means two is related with one it means for one and two they are symmetric but here one is related with three but there is no three which is related with one this element is not there in this relationship it means this relationship is not symmetric okay if one is related with three and three is related with one it's given then only we will say that this relationship is what symmetric i hope i believe that i made my point here okay so now check for the next one what is transitive okay i am going to write down this uh, symmetric definition so you check here if a1 a2 is in this relationship r then a2 a1 must be in this relationship with r then only we will say that this is symmetric relationship if a1 a2 relationship is given from one side means a1 to a2 a1 is related with a2 this is this side relationship but a2 to a1 also there should be there then only we will say that this kind of relationship is called symmetric otherwise we cannot say this is a symmetric relationship if it is there then only we will say that this is symmetric say symmetric if it is not there then we cannot say this is means we cannot claim this is a symmetric relationship okay then now we will go for the transitive relationship it means suppose you are related with your father and your father is related with your so you are related with your father and father is related with his mother it means here what relationship from this side to this side the relationship is what father and from there to this side is what relationship is what mother then how you are related with your that lady okay that might be grand mother there is a relationship so the relations the relationship from your side to your grandmother your that lady is grandmother relationship so that kind of relationship is called transitive relationship okay if there is no connection between you and that lady then that that relationship that relationship cannot be called as transitive relationship okay so i'm going to write down the definition here you check here if a1 is related with a2 okay if a1 is there a2 is there a3 is there if a1 is related with a2 and a2 is related with a3 then a1 is related with a3 okay if this is there okay then that kind of relationship is called transitive relationship so you can check here okay you can check in this example one is related with one and one is related with two it means one must be related with two is there any okay we will go for the next one if one is related with two and two is related with three if one is related with two and two is related with three it means one must be related with three is there such ex ex uh, such example yes one is related with three here yeah. so this kind of relationship is known as transitive relationship okay if this is missing from this relationship then we cannot claim this is a transitive relationship see in this example r okay i have given the entire order pair of elements so you can check here one two is there one suppose two we will check for the next one two is related with one and one is related with one this is a trivial condition okay we will go for the next one two is related with one and one is related with three two is related with one and one is related with three it means two is related with one okay and one is related with three then we will see whether two is related with three is there or not two is related with three is there or not yes two is related with three is there it means two is related with three so this kind of relationship is known as transitive relationship okay now what if a relationship will satisfy all these three relationships what is it one reflexive symmetric and transitive 
and such kind of relationship is known as equivalence relationship okay so I'm going to define here so what is equivalence relationship a relation R is said to be equivalence relation if it satisfies reflexive reflexive means each element must be related with itself means in that relationship the elements must be given like each element is related with itself it's one is there within one comma one must be there two is there two comma two must be there three is there three comma three must be there then only will say that that is reflexive if that relationship is satisfied reflexive and symmetric symmetric means if one is related with two and then two must be related with one that pro, uh, that element is existing in that relationship then you will say that that kind of relationship is known as symmetric relationship and the next one is transitive relationship what is transitive relationship if one is related with two and two is related with three then there must be another element which is one must be related with three okay then only we could say that that relationship is known as transitive relationship if such relationship exists which will satisfy the entire three relationship then you will say that that kind of relationship is known as equivalence relationship okay that is called equivalence relation I believe that I have given plethora of information so please watch the entire video and if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment box and see you in the next video with more examples so that you can understand the equivalence relationship very easily and what is reflexive, what is transitive and what is symmetric you will see completely in details. Okay, see you in the next video. Thank you.